everybody, John to be good here. Good evening and uh, welcome to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the beer town of Wisconsin. Local temperature here is 60 degrees Fahrenheit according to blue. The time here it is 8.39 p.m. Today once again it is Tuesday, July 15, 2014. We are now 33 miles to Conemawak, Wisconsin. Roughly 38 minutes of driving we need to do before we get there. You know, that's one one good business a guy could make. If I had a lot of money, I would put up a I would put up a truck stop where the roundies is. Now you don't even have to sell fuel. You just need to provide truck parking. Maybe charge driver's truck parking. I guarantee you, you'd make a lot of money. A decent restaurant. Eh, why not just make it a full-blown truck stop, right? get over. We better get over. Blue, let's get over blue. You, you're kind of driving like you're driving home, blue. We're not driving home yet, blue. We got to deliver this load. She's blue. You're only 60 miles away from the house and you're all excited. You kind of forgotten where you're delivering a load too. Uh-huh. Any of you say, I love Milwaukee? Surely do. I love Milwaukee. Pay attention. This building right in front of us here, if we were to drive straight and hit that building right there, that's Marquette University Law School. Eckstein Hall. A friend of mine from high school back in the Philippines, who now lives in Chicago, Uh, youngest daughter goes to school to that university. I tell you, she's she's one smart cookie. She took after her mom. Her mom is probably the smartest person I know. 
and she's a very good friend of mine. In fact, she works at home. She, well, she works for a company, but she works uh, doing research at home. She just does her thing, shows up to the office once in a while, and get paid quite a bit. All that, all that while working on her pajamas, right? Yeah, but then again, that gets old once in a while, sometimes. And to our far left, in front of us, there is the uh, Chicago Milwaukee Brewers Stadium, baseball stadium. The roof kind of, uh, they can open it, close it. Either keep the heat out, keep the, well, I don't think about the heat. I think it's the cold, right? All right, 27 miles to go, 30 minutes driving required. I need to take a 30 minute break in 3 hours and 46 minutes. But the good thing is, in 2 hours and 19 minutes, I'll be completely out of hours. Aha. Imagine that. wanted me to take the uh, 94 to 894 or yeah wait is that 894 I think so I wanted to go take the bypass but I wanted to go through town that way I could show you guys what Milwaukee is besides there's only one mile difference and I believe 894 is under construction. Heavily under construction. Yeah, it is 894. interested in learning my language, the Visayan language, I often thought about starting a Visayan language lesson. <laughs> For example, how do you say good morning in Visaya? Visaya is spelled B-I-S-A Y A B Saya. It's different from Cebuano, but it is similar. Kind of like the English between the southern and the northern. Some words are different, the tones are different, but in general, they both speak the same language. All right. 
first word is good morning. How do you say good morning? You say maayo, maayong buntag. Maayong, maayo means good. Buntag means morning. Maayong buntag. I knew you'd get it right. There you go. Well, you just had asked what good evening is. Well, maayong gabi e. Gabi e. And all the name Gabby. Gabby e. There you go. That should be easy to re uh, remember. Gabby E. Gabi E. Maayong Gabi E. So, maayong bun tag. Maayong bun tag. Maayong gabi e. Maayong buntag. Now here is good afternoon. Maayong ud to. Maayong ud to. There you go. Maayong buntag. Maayong gabi e. Maayong ud to. Or, maayong buntag, maayong udto, maayong gabi -i. How about dog? Dog is ero. Now, it's different in Tagalog. Okay, Tagalog is different. Tagalog for dog is aso. Which is in Bisaya, aso means smoke. <laughs> now, I don't think I want to run you that path. You'd be, you'd be so confused you'll give up. So, yep. Irok means dog in Bisaya. Now, you want to know about the cat. E-ring. It's easy to reference the letter E and then ring, like a ring on your finger. E-ring. But if you were to right e-ring in Visaya it's it would be in English I ring because I is pronounced well yeah I is pronounced E so instead of E ring it's I ring if you if I was gonna write E ring And you were an American, you would, I bet you would pronounce it I ring. What else do we have? A ring, a row. How about chicken? Ma nook. Ma nook. M A N O K. Ma nook. Let's do a pig. Ba boy. Pig is ba boy. B a b o y. And uh, also, Bisaya consists of many, many, many Spanish words. 
Laik kutsara, tinidor, bisiklita Even our numbers are in Spanish If you were to uh, use Bisaya But in Tagalog, it really is Tagalog Well, that was the lesson for the Bisayan lesson for the day. Let me know if you guys want to learn more. I will uh, be happy to teach you guys how to speak Bisaya. And if you have any special request to what words, phrases, or greetings, and words, and leave me a comment, and I will try to remember them, or write them down, and translate them to you in Bisaya. Class dismiss. Aha. Peace.